everybody! Welcome back to some more Pokey Rogue. Sorry, this one's a few days late. Normally, I like to do these streams after my premiere on Saturdays. Uh, but last week, I worked from when I woke up to when I went to sleep every single day that week. Like, literally from when I woke up to when I went to sleep. I didn't even work out for a week, which I feel like garbage about, because I really feel like garbage when I don't work out. Um, but like, seriously, work had me so incredibly busy. Just, I was just going nonstop to get my, my YouTube stuff done that week. Uh, I had to get ahead of time and everything, because I got lots of plans this week. But, I'm streaming today, and I'm streaming more Pokey Rogue after my premiere on Saturday. Unless, like, some thing happens, you know? You'll know on my Twitter if something happens. Now, um, I... To, to deal with the DNS issues before, I ended up wiping out all the cookies on my browser. Unfortunately, that reset all of my Pokey Rogue settings. Uh, not the save file, we still have the save file. But I mean, like, it, it reset, like, the sound and those settings and stuff. So I think I've got them all set to what they were before, but we'll see. Also, I changed the color of the text boxes, and the game just got an update. So apparently... Uh, it has, like, events and stuff now? I, I don't really know yet. I'm sure people in the chat will probably tell me what the deets are on that. But we can just continue our file from last time. Oh, it's giving us tutorial stuff. Yeah, I don't, I don't need the tutorial stuff. Right, we had just started a fresh file. That's right. Um, I do want to level up Shroomish early and our Nincata because we have a very good Nincata. Our IVs are just kick-ass. I think I'll send it out first. Uh, and I'm going to... I want to go to... Go, go away. Uh, save and quit. Because... We... Need... To go to the settings, and where was the tutorial stuff? Tutorial's off. Because we already know most of what it would be teaching us anyway. I don't think there's anything new. Uh, nice, fresh file. No, I mean, when I say fresh file, I mean, like, it's not like a it's not like a file wipe. I mean, this is the beginning of a new run. So we still have, like, our Nincata and our Shiny and all of that stuff. Bug is good against Dark? I didn't remember that. God, attack order is such a badass move. Max Lure. Quadruple's chance of encounter being a double battle for up to 30 battles. That's a that's a massive lure. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. See a lizard the lizard wizard. I swear I can speak English. Oof, I'm one shot, and maybe I should keep that one alive to catch. What's that Pokemon called again? Uh, Lechonk, that's what it's called. I want to catch more Lechonks, because I really want to max out our Lechonks, um, IVs. Don't you peck me, you bastard. Uh, I'm gonna just throw a ball. I can probably catch it now. And if he can speak English, but he never learned how to read it. That's true. Ooh, the special attack on that one is crazy and modest. To the top and at the top. Uh, nugget. I'll take a nugget. Whismer? That's a pun. All right, get in there, LeChonk. We're gonna be pretty good in your opinion. I don't know how good it is. I, I don't know what its stats are or what its moves are. I just know that I love the design. Rickety is your favorite regional bird? I think it might be my favorite regional bird, too. I really like the design. That was my first Whismer, right? I think it was. Wow, trainer already. Youngster Jonathan. Rookity is a physical attacker, is it? Mm, maybe not my Rookity. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to faint. Ah! Lame. You withdrawing bastard. That's not going to do anything. 
Um, I'll send in my underlevel rookity. Ow. Oh, he crit me. Um, Nincata? You have to pick up 10 treasures, nuggets, big nuggets, relics. Well, it's in your party for it to evolve. Oh, that's how Gimme Goal evolves now instead of friendship? That probably makes sense. Although that makes it harder, but whatever. Oh no, it's Bongzilla. I need to get a maxed out Ivy Weedle. Gen 5 battle music is the best? Gen 5 battle music is pretty good. I don't know if it's the best. Like, if you ask me, like, what's the absolute best... Woo! Almost fainted. What's the absolute best battle song in any Pokemon game? It's probably the Kanto trainer battle song from Gen 2. The Kanto battle remix. Like, the Gen 1 remix battle theme in Gen 2 is really good. I love my terrible, unbalanced team. Why do I even have Cherubi on my team again? Did I have, like, really awesome... Um, uh, 20, 40... Hold on, what are my stats? Did I just have really awesome IVs? Okay, it's like, like equal physical attack. I'll just regular tackle. Pokerus, maybe? Oh, maybe? Nope. No, I don't have Pokerus on the team. Am I even pronouncing that right? Oh, wait, why am I using a grass move on a bug type? I'm dumb. Breloom honestly kicks ass in Pokerug. I agree. On, on some of my best runs, like, Breloom was really, really pulling through for the team, especially with Drain Punch. Drain Punch with it was awesome. I think it's because you had one point left and it was worth one point. Oh, okay. You know what? That checks out. You went and Googled the theme and the first 10 seconds song is a bop. It's very good. Yeah. Now, I like the trainer theme in, like, the original as well. It's really good. Um, uh, Whismer. Yeah, sorry, Whismer. You're going. I want a Pokemon with pickup. Um, yeah, the Gen 1 version is really, really good, but the Gen 2 remake of that song is so kick-ass. I don't really want a, a grass type out here with Ekans. Um, but I don't have many choices. You love the sword and shield battle theme? I remember being good, but I don't remember it off the top of my head. I kind of remember the gym battle theme in that game. That was a good one. How are you, Mr. Drybread? I'm currently wearing a tank top with a kitten sitting on a slice of watermelon. You don't need to call me Mr., but I'm doing well, thank you. You know what? I should be trying to make Badoof faint. I want to catch more Ekans. I like Ekans. Been quite a while. I'm out of Twitter and outdated on your things. Oh, okay. You should get back on Twitter because NWA Power is going to be airing on Twitter for the next five weeks. Well, they're in between TV deals. Yeah, I want to catch this one. Oh, I missed... Um, Missed my stun spore. I'm just gonna catch him. Hey, MSX! Speaking of Gen 2, um, have you played the 1997 Gold demo from when Gold was basically a different game? I don't... No, I didn't play that, but I feel like... I feel like Viz Nomadic did something with that forever ago, and I might have been there for it. I have, like, a vague memory of this. Your, pan your country banned Twitter? Oh, are you, uh, Brazilian? I mean, I know you can still access it through a VPN, but I don't blame you if you don't want to bother.
Yeah, um... Yeah, Brazil banned Twitter because Twitter refused to comply with the Brazilian government basically trying to extort them. Um, and so the government there just straight banned it. Um, but the thing is, oh man, I might actually faint just because I have a bunch of Pokemon weak to flying type. Don't want to get fined for the VPN. So here's the thing about the VPN thing. They announced that they were going to fine people like thousands of dollars if they use a VPN. And then immediately your Supreme Court went back on it and said they will not enforce that. So, uh, yeah, you can't actually get fined for having a VPN in Brazil. I mean, unless there's something, unless there was another update that I don't know about. Yeah, they announced there was a fine, and then literally later the same day, they announced that they will not enforce that. Okay, well, that party sucked. Um, let's... God, I don't like that my Snorlax has zero for max health. I'm sure its health will still be good, but, you know, bad for a Snorlax. Whoa! Whoa! So many choices for moves! Lord. Okay. Um, hmm. The VPN's doing his job, how would they know you're using one? Yeah, that's... I guess that's a good point, too. Hold on, let me, uh... There we go. There we go. Sorry, I had to fix the thing. Um, hey, you don't see my cursor on screen, right? Because you're not supposed to. Dreadagon, maybe? Mm, no. No, I don't think I will. Ooh. Cryogonal has Pokerus. I like Krognol. Krognol. Cryogonal. Um, okay, no, it doesn't have more than four moves. Okay, like John Cena. That's not fair. He did learn more than four moves, eventually. Um, do I just have the one nature? Yes. Nature bashful, yes. Okay, well, it's still pretty good. I want to move the moves around, though. Ice Shard should probably be my main. Sorry, what is this? Um, reduces damage from physical and special moves. Can only be used when it's snowing. Oh, okay, cool. I'll put that on the team. Teach it attract. I don't have the option. It'll probably learn it by level up, though. Because I know that's like its gimmick. Or part of its gimmick. Um, Pokerus stays forever on Pokerogue? I believe it does. And it still spreads to your team the way it normally would. I'm gonna, like... Have I already favored this? I'm gonna favor that. Because it's my shiny. It'd be crazy not to take it, you know? Oh, I love Sand Dial. You know I'm putting up a Sand Dial run later this week? You should all watch it. It's really, really good. It's a really good video. One of my best. I want to give Abra another shot. It's just so damn fragile. I can never get it, like, to evolve. Hmm. Where's Money Dude? This dude? I really liked this one. I'm going to favorite him. Let's roll with this team. See how it goes. Ooh. Don't you poison me. Oh, I should have caught that. What am I doing? I don't even have a Weedle yet. Ice Shard is priority, right? It's just Ice Quick Attack? God damn it. Here we go. Uh, okay, so it's got more special defense. Hmm. Pokeballs. Oh, I don't have an Oddish yet.
I do like Spinarak, and I wouldn't mind catching more, but Odge first. Please don't faint, please don't faint, please don't faint. Please don't faint! Oh, please don't faint! Okay, we're good. Nice! Ooh. Pretty bad IVs, but it's modest, which will be good for when I catch more of them and can have better IVs. Grassy Terrain, X Attack, X Attack. Ooh. Modest is good, IVs are ass, yeah. Uh, Potion. Oh no! Last page! Page here. I like the animation for that. Spinarak is fun. To be honest, Gen 2 bug types are your favorite overall Pokemon of a single type in any game. Or Gen? That's crazy. I do uh, understand what you mean, though. Spinarak and Ladybug are both really cool. Uh, Heracross is really cool. <laughs> this will probably be a one-shot. Yeah. Rapid Spin. I don't remember that move being very good. Raises user speed. I mean, I like it more than bind. Oh, Icicle Spears. That's a decent move. I'll take that over Rapid Spin. <laughs> This game is so... I don't know, Final Fantasy Tactics? It's very triumphant. It's very triumphantly. You only get that reference if you're cool, by the way. Oh, God damn it! Yeah, fine. Keep using Defense Curl. I'll just catch you. Yoink! A uh, slight increase to max health. Okay, okay. Double Edge. Um... Lechonk with Double Edge might not be bad. Not Rival Ivy! Oh, right, I should tell the game to not repeat dialogue. I forgot that's an option that I had changed, and it is not changed now. Bug's your favorite type? It's one of my favorite types. Okay, I gotta switch. Don't want to be in there with a the fire type. Ginnigul isn't steel, right? Just a ghost. Okay, so it becomes part steel after it evolves. Ginnigul really doesn't have good moves from default. Ow. Double edge. Boink. Wow. Well, I'm happy I learned it. Not Pidgey! Ooh, I'm gonna faint from the recoil. Yep. Aw, oh, I get no experience. Lame. Poison is my favorite type. Well, Trunk has thick fat? Does it? I don't remember, actually. Oh, experience hall. I like getting that early. Pawmy. I like Pawmy. I'm gonna catch it. Or... Should I catch more Zigzagoons? I do want really high IV Zigzagoons so that I can have a good pickup Pokemon. Hmm. Thank you for all the videos over the years. I enjoy watching a couple of videos now and again before bed. Thank you, I appreciate it. Um, yeah, Pommy, Pommy can get fucked. I'm gonna try and catch more Zigzagoons. Okay, I don't think it'll faint if I do this. There we go. Yeah, I want a really high V Zigzagoon. 
God damn, that didn't help me at all. Maybe I didn't have naughty nature, though. More attack is kind of nice. Um, sorry, Sentry, you're going. Heads up, if you faint from recoil, but win a boss or gym leader fight, you will still lose and not heal and go to the next area. Well, I would assume, yeah, because in Pokemon you lose on a draw. Uh, do I even care about Echoed Voice? I'm not a special attacker. Not really. You'd prefer to bring along Combi's Honey uh, Gather over Pickup? Yeah, I haven't really had luck with Pickup either. Everyone tells me it's really good, but it hasn't been for me. I don't know if maybe it gets good later. Some people have said it gets good later. Dire hit. Boss Cherubi! Oops, uh, Cariogonal. Sunlight got bright! Hyper Potion this early on? Weird and excessive, isn't it? Yay! Experience Charm, hell yeah, get me those early. Yeah, that's why I didn't take the Hyper Potion. Because I knew that we were at town already. I figured it wouldn't be a trainer, considering, like, how we just fought two trainers. I don't think I've heard this song yet. Uh, music, Fire Route 888. I'm gonna assume that's like another um, mystery dungeon song. Mm, I don't know how I feel about this song. It feels like I'm at the house of someone I don't like in Harvest Moon. It's custom music they made for Pokey Rogue, actually. Hmm. Maybe it'll grow on me? I don't like that it keeps doing the wind flutes in the right ear, then the left ear, and then both. Because I'm wearing a headset, and it sounds like ass. <laughs> Watching Suki play this game, her getting, cra uh, getting trainer fights is cr Her luck with getting trainer fights is crazy. Oh. Yoink. Well, I got a very small upgrade on special defense. I think I already had an adamant one. Even if we didn't get any upgrade on IVs, though, it's still worth it because it's getting us more candy. It's never 100% pointless to catch something. I should check to see if we have any eggs. No eggs? Okay, well, we can, we can do a pull. Oh, a rare egg. A blue Yoshi. Everybody guess what's in the next egg. I like this game where you guys guess and see if you can figure out what's in the next egg. So far, no one's ever gotten it right. It's not easy. I mean, there's a lot of Pokemon in this game. But there's also like a hundred people in chat. Oh shit, another egg voucher. Fococo, Alolan Vulpix, Tokopi. I almost called Tokopi Topanga. What's wrong with me? Didn't someone say a Grado Pokeball means you don't have that nature, but you have the Pokemon? I think that's what they said. Big Pex. Should be big pecs like pectorals, you know? Sorry, Pat Rat, you can go. We already have normal types. I'm guessing Pikachu in the egg. Hmm. Sorry, am I a physical attacker or a special attacker? I hate that I can't check that right now. Oh, I can check that right now. Hell yeah, I'm a special attacker. Well, I should switch Ice Shard for uh, Icy Wind then.
You thought of big pictorials too? Awesome, not just me. Spiro. Man, Cryagonal's kicking some ass. Maybe I should be using more other Pokemon too. Then again, I do have an experience also. Some of it's going to the others. Oh, uh, I like Ultra Balls, but I can't pass up another Egg Voucher. I'm getting lucky on Egg Luck today. All right, Gimme Ghoul. You can probably get some easy experience off this guy. Hey, Yoshi Egg. Don't you growl at me. Okay, I see how this is gonna be. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this is a terrible fight. God damn it. No, I I gotta switch, don't I, for my own sand. Well, if I get it down to yellow health, maybe I can just catch it. Would you stop it, you bastard? Oh my god. I'm gonna hit one day. I swear, sand attack is worse when it's used on you than when you use it on the opponent. I've had too many Pokemon games where I have like six double teams and I'm still getting hit all the time. But they sand attack me like twice and I'm worthless. There we go. Two level ups. Needed that. Willow Wisp. Willow of the Wisp. Rare candy. I should switch just because our stats are so fucked. Ugh. Whew, okay. Hey, Max did special defense. I always thought Will-O-Wisp was ghost, not fire. Me too. Map? I'll take the map. Yeah, let's just Icy Wind. Don't you bite me. Don't you crit me. Bet I could map that. Bet I can smash that. Hey guys, don't forget to smash that like button. Bet I can smash that. <laughs> Blizzard? Ooh! Why can Zigzagoon learn Blizzard? Man, normal types can learn some weird shit. Yeah, I'm taking Blizzard. Controversial opinion, Blizzard is good. Cyclist Axel? You mean Curtis Axel? It's Pikachu and Drag. Oh, wait, no, I guess it's a female Pikachu. Curtis Axel was great. I agree. Curtis Axel was great. He didn't get nearly enough love. I thought Rybaxel was awesome. But I think only the freaks like me who watched WWE superstars back in the day would have known how awesome they were. I'll either think where Ryback would do like the splash off the middle rope where he would just teeter over and fall forwards like a plank on him. Then he would roll off and Curtis Axel would get on the middle rope and he would teeter off with a double axe handle. That was awesome. Nightshade. Oh no, Gym Leader Charon! I like fighting Gym Leaders, because then I get Egg Vouchers. Ah! Uh... 
do it again. Yeah, I may as well use the big moves because I don't need to worry about my power points. You know, we're on level 20, so we're going to get our uh, we're, we'll get our stuff back after this. No, I don't need haze and I don't need mist. Covet. That's decent, right? It's better than tackle. Totally forgot about right back, so how could you? Lil Pup, man, your team sucks. Wow, that was easy. Mud shot. I should learn it just to have a ground move. Even if it's special. We actually never used Cryogonal. It's pretty good. It's very frail physically, but it has crazy good special defense. Metropolis or Grassy Field? I like poison types. I think Metropolis has got poison types. You liked the B team? I mean, their theme was terrible, but I love both Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel. Tremendous wrestlers. Um... I'll do this team. I don't know who Squawkabilly is, but I absolutely love him. First time seeing him, I think. I think I'll one-shot him if I hit him with this move, but... Yeah, I probably will, so I just won't get him with that. Early SV bird. What's SV? Oh, Scarlet Violet. Okay. I forget what country is Scarlet Violet supposed to be? I don't even know. I haven't played it yet. I want to play it on the show. Boosts attack stat but lowers accuracy. Ooh, I don't like that one. Aerial Ace, though, so you can bypass that. Well, shit. I bet you would hit really hard with Aerial Ace. Hmm. Spain slash Portugal. Okay. All right, Fletchling. I do like Fletchling, but I want to try out this new guy. Uh, iron. Maybe I'll use that to offset Cryogonal's bad defense. What's this? You found a chest? This seems to be new. A beautiful, ornate, uh, ornamented, can't read, ornamented chest stands on the ground. Must be something good inside, right? Will you open it? Um, it doesn't say, there's only a 35% chance of something terrible. I'll open it. Some pretty nice tools and items. Ooh. I mean, Grass Knot's a good move. I'll learn Grass Knot. Sorry, sweet scent. I'm never going to use you. Uh, no, not give me gold because he's going to use Bite on me. Ivy coming up? You think Ivy's going to be a 25? Or is Ivy always a 25? I don't remember. Oh, Max did attack. Cool. LeChonk must learn Covet. 25 every time? Gotcha. <gasps> Egg hatch! It's lit! Really high special attack. <sighs> I was kind of hoping for physical attack because I know it becomes a wrestler. IV scanner? Ah, fuck it. Why not? Even though I remember it being mildly annoying. Oh, best defense and special defense. I guess I really want to catch it then. 
Wow. Man. Okay. Yeah, try that shit. Yeah, how well's that going for you? Attack fell. Ugh. You bastard. At least he's not using sand attack. As long as he's not using sand attack, I don't really care too much. IV battles as well as several evil team fights are at set levels. Okay. Squawkabilly is the air taxi Pokemon in Gen 9. Because Corvine uh because uh Corvanites were getting attacked by the local Paldinmons. I have no idea what that means. I know what you mean by air taxi, though. Okay, there we go. Really good IVs. Like, Zigzagoons are getting good. Maybe I'll have to start starting with one now. Oh, no! It's Ivy! Paldine from the Pal uh, from the Paldia region. Okay. Is it like Iberia? God damn it! Don't you pull out your normal types, you bastard. Uh. Ugh. Is she just gonna spam agility? Like this is Gen One and she's Lance. I think that's what's going to happen here. Okay. Does that mean her whole team has nothing that can hit ghosts? I'm going to assume this means her whole team can't hit ghosts. Because I can't think of any other reason why she'd be doing this. Yeah, it's smart AI. There was also, uh, that's also why there was some slight backlash at the time on if the game would be in Portuguese. Because it had Portugal on the map reference. Oh, was it, was it never in Portuguese? Pokemon games are typically translated to Portuguese, right? Because they want the Brazilian market? Well, Lucha has got to have some moves that can hit me, right? It does! Well, what the hell? Why did she use... Why did she use Pidgeotto, then? Pokemon was never in Portuguese officially. That is shocking. And very stupid. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna switch into someone who I don't care if they faint, so Zigzagoon. Oh, apparently he had a... Uh, Berry. I almost said a seed. Now Zelda and Mario are in native Portuguese? Oh, okay. Man, if I still had Ice Shard, I could go first. Okay, they're switching anyway. Well, at least I lowered his speed. Oh, please let me be faster. Okay. Yeah. What's the better offensive type? Fire or steel? My Snorlax wants to learn both based uh, weight based moves. I would say fire. I would say fire. If you got to pick between them. Like, if you're just picking a fire move or a steel move, then I would go with a fire one. Not that steel's bad or anything. So it turns out that uh, the event that changes your Pokemon also changes their type. My Pumpkaboo is ice type now. That's crazy. Yeah, steel's more of a defensive type. It's not really super effective against much. 
I wouldn't say fire is like the absolute best uh, offensive type or anything, but it's good. Yay! Stack those experience alls. It's Carnivine. Ca Carnivine. That's a Gen 5 Pokemon, right? Or is it Gen 4? I think it's Gen 5. I don't care about reviving Zigzagoon. Ultra Balls. Best speed. No, oh, I one shot it. I don't need Fury Attack. It's not that good. Plus, it's going to be really inaccurate with him. LeChonk wants Dig. Hell yeah. Better than Mudshot. Gen 4? Oh, you're right. You're right. I don't need Ancient Power on Cryagonal. Ooh. Oh, Varum. Best attack. Sorry, what type is it? Oh, I didn't mean to stay in. Well, I guess we'll faint. Yeah, I guess we're going to faint then. Mimic, but it failed. All right, Mimic is last move used. Duh. Um, hmm. I don't want it to use a rock move on Cryogonal. I don't really have any other choice, though. Maybe Nightshade? Ow. All right. Oh, it's steel and... Okay, I thought it was part rock type because look at it. It's made of coal. Also, the icon they use for steel in this game looks like rock to me. Like a lot. You're right, the pig does have dig, but that would one-shot it, because it's four times effective. Don't you gyro-ball me, you bastard. There we go. Don't snap out of confusion, goddammit! Steel because it's blue, rock is brown. I mean, that's not blue, though. That's gray. I think of gray rocks, but I get you. Maxed out attack. And attack nature. Wow. That is pretty cool. I think I want it on the team. Oops. I don't know who to get rid of, though. Fuck it, Zigzagoon, go away. <gasps> LeChonk! It could become anything. I think it's gonna become Raichu. It's Raichu! Revive... Cryogonal. Eh. A mediocre... Patrat? Patrat? I don't know how the anime pronounces it. Oof. Not even good IVs. Oh, another revive. Hell yeah. We're almost at Heel Town, though. Oh, I didn't know the Squawk abilities all look different. That's cool. I like that. Oh, man. Sorry. Glasses are digging into the side of my head a bit. Hurts. Ugh. There. Gotta fix it. Personally say, in my opinion, Gen 9 is easily the worst generation of Pokemon. I'd paid over $100 and the game still hasn't gone to the point where I'd expect Nintendo to release a game at day one without patches. It's funny you say that because everyone I know who's played it has said like it's one of their favorite Pokemon games in ages. I haven't played it yet, so I don't really have an opinion. I have no horse in this race. I have no onion. Ow. 
Ow! He crit me with that aerial ace. Oh, God damn it! he's gonna sludge the Squawkabilly, isn't he? Oh, cool, he fainted, good. He would have accidentally killed the Squawkabilly if he didn't. Yeah, see, that's what I always hear is the game has bad performance, but it's really fun. I don't want to make room for that Squawkabilly, but I am happy I caught it. No uh, option to turn off move animations. That's weird. Poison powder. I don't really care about poison powder. Ugh, so many revives. Oh, right. I shouldn't have even revived considering we're going to a Poke Center now. Confuse it. I love Furfru. Ow. God damn it, we missed Blizzard. Okay. There we go. There we go. Fainted, that's okay. Eh, sand attack. Okay, it totally can't hit me. Yeah, if it could hit me, I'd be doing it by now, but we're doing, like, no damage. There's, like, a whole third of the map you pretty much cannot go across because of how much slower the game is. Two times slower if raining. That's amazing. I gotta catch more fur fruit so that I can build up the, uh build up the IVs. Love those EXP charms. I also need more EXP all. Those are great. <gasps> What's this? This must be an event. In the slum. Chipper elderly man. Hello there. I've got a deal for you. The Shelmic is extremely unique in that it carries an ability not normally found in its species. I'll let you have this small Shelmet for $1,060. What do you say? Gain a Shelmet with its hidden ability. I mean, does it become a starter? If so, then yeah. I like this music. Sneaky Snob. Yeah, I'm gonna buy it. You pay an outrageous sum and bought the shelmet. I don't think it was outrageous. Oh yeah, returns are not acceptable. Got that? Okay. Cool, we got a hidden ability. We got the ability Overcoat. Protects the Pokemon from things like sand, hail, and powder. I mean, I don't really care about that. I'm just happy I have a Shelmet. And I'm not even putting it on the party. Continue to the next wave. Oh. Uh, yeah, I guess... This song's pretty good. Does Overcoat still ignore powders and spores in this? I don't know. Yeah, I'm already confused. Why are you using that again? There's a little bit of a... Mario Party 3-ness to this song. That's a compliment. Oh, those IVs are terrible. Whoa. Wow, the level ups, though. Got three levels on my pig just from that. Oddish wants to learn Stun Spore. Ooh. I don't need acid. 
I have a poison type. In this game, is there a function that tells you what song is playing? Yeah, I've been I've been doing it. That's how I said sneaky snom. You hit M, and the top left tells you the song. Did I miss a discussion about how Gen 9 was very fun but runs poorly? Oh, someone said that they hate Gen 9. It's their least favorite um, generation. And I said, everyone I know who played it says that they love the game, but that it runs like crap. And then a bunch of people in the chat said that they love it and it runs like crap. Uh, max health, high special. So Coughing's my second favorite Pokemon. I really want this. Okay, this is fine. Just don't, don't crit, don't crit, don't crit. Whew! Game runs like crap, but it's one of the most fun gens I've ever played. See, that's what I always hear. Super high special attack nature, or sorry, super high special attack IV, but bad special attack nature. Interesting. Crazy high health. I'll take Headbutt over, um, Covet. Mmm, Mirror Candy. Really need Gimme Ghoul to learn some new moves. Very good attack and special attack. Oh, I love Grimer. Very good max HP, fantastic special defense. Okay, I'm happy with this team. Sorry, Stunky. I'm taking you out first. I want Grimer. I have neither of them, but I like Grimer more. Stunky's cool-ish. Crit Venishock. Don't like that. That's a good thing my Aerialise doesn't miss. Ah! It fainted. Lame. Squawkabilly's stronger than I thought it would be. Guess that ability just really powers it up. Not Aqua Grunt in the slums! Next to the bag of trash in the streets. What is this, New York City? Ow. What do you think about uh, Alolan Grimer? Uh, I like Alolan Grimer, it's cool. <sighs> Sorry, I keep yawning. Uh, slept horribly. <laughs> what the fuck is that? It's an anchor. It's a ghost ship anchor. Cool concept. And now it's dead. Again, because it's a ghost. Oh my god, the level ups. I'll take Aurora Beam over Icicle Spear, I guess. Just because we're a special attacker. Oh my god the level ups. Uh, I'll take Sleep Powder over Stun Spore. There we go! Hi, I like MBD. I don't know who the fuck MBD is. But I bet you he sucks at Pokemon. Triple Axle. Triple Curtis Axle? Three kicks that become more powerful with each hit, and it's Ice type for some reason. Huh. I'm gonna full heal Oinkarella and heal him up. 
Oh, right, I should have scanned it. I keep thinking the first text box is to switch, because that's what it typically is. Yoink! Good defense! Cragonal doesn't need Slash. No, don't need Takedown. It's not that good. A Revive? Don't mind if I do. I think we're getting close to being our second longest run. Ah, oh, fuck, I, I didn't scan it again. I'm definitely catching Shrubbish. Shrubbish. Trubbish. I like Trubbish. God damn it. Yoink. Oh! Whoa! That special attack and special defense are pretty impressive. Toxic spikes. I can only imagine how good toxic spikes are in Pokey Rogue. Maybe I just want to take it. Hey, you know, I'm not even using Varum. Oh, Oddish is evolving. It could become anything. Yoshi, maybe. Hey, caffeinated blacksmith. Hope you're having a good today day today. Thank you. If you hold shift, whatever button is see stats, stats are in green if you hit the IP scanner and it's better than what you have. Oh, okay. Egg is hatching. Let's see if it's any of your guesses. Is it Fukoko? Oh, I don't think I have Basharp yet. I'm sorry, not Basharp. Um, Ponyard. Basharp is the evolution. Very high special attack. Mm, I'm going to take X special attack. <gasps> it's a substitute in a crate. What's this? You've come across some training tools and supplies. Hmm. Could be used to train a member of your party. There's a few ways to train your Pokemon by battling and defeating them with the rest of your team. Light battle with chosen Pokemon. Permanently improve two random IVs. Harsh battle with chosen Pokemon permanently changes the Pokemon's ability. Moderate po uh, moderate battle change their nature. I would rather improve IVs. Uh, give me better cryogonal IVs. I don't feel like I'm catching them very often. Oh, so I have to fight a cryogonal to do it. Does it matter who I beat them with? Because it auto sent a squawkabilly. Oh, I'm fighting my own cryogonal. Oh, fuck, I might lose. Started to snow. Oh, God, he's got my moves? Fuck, I didn't know that's how it works. You sent in your ace and it swept you? Yeah, I sent in my ace. It might sweep me. Fuck, I didn't know that's how that works. It was not clear. Of course it's just gonna fucking take me out. Am I really gonna go down to this? Man. I guess it's a cool concept, but like... What the fuck? Of course, it's just hitting constantly with Blizzard. Oh, yeah, it's just gonna sweep me. I mean, I, I fainted, so I, I doubt I got anything from that. I didn't succeed to the training. It said that was light training. In no way that did it tell me that that is what was going to happen. Man, that was like one of my best runs. Oh, now Pokerus is on Tokopi. Did you know that Blizzard has 100 accuracy when the opponent beats you? Yeah, feels like it. Went exact same way for you too? Yeah. 
Man. That was such bullshit. All right, well, where's Cryogonal on my list? Here it is. Um, yeah, I still have a really good Cryogonal. I'm going to add it to my favorites. Why is there an icon next to this? Oh, because it has, like, the other ability. Okay. That must be what that icon means. It looks like a bottle of pop or something. If that was a training session, does that mean that Kragan will defect it? I guess. Join the rebel fleet. Yeah, Pogurus is really good. It's double EV gains, so it's hard not to justify putting it on the team, but Togepi is not great. My Togepi is really weird. Hmm. Okay, I want to sort by... IV. So my best IVs are now officially on Zigzagoon. Whoa. Yeah, those that's definitely my best IVs. God, I got to get new shinies cuz like even with awesome IVs, I don't feel like Lechonk is really pulling his weight. I can pick multiple abilities now. Aroma Veil or Gluttony? What does Aroma Veil even do? How do I check? Um, I guess I just can't on this screen. Can I like hover over with my mouse? Yes, I can. Protect itself and its allies from attacks that limit their move choices. Okay. It's not super useful, but it's not worthless or anything. Have you seen the movie of Pokemon and the Sword of Justice? No, I have not. I saw the first Pokemon movie and the second Pokemon movie. Oh yeah, I've got my really badass Shuckle. I should um, add that to favorites. Maybe I want to take that with me. Maybe. I do like trying new Pokemon, though. Like, maybe this is the run where I use this giant fish thing. Maybe this is the run where I use a male combi. <laughs> maybe this is the run where I use ground snack. Uh, I, I do like Venomoth. I could use my low defense Venomoth. What are the moves? Sorry, tackle, disable, supersonic. That's not good. Um, hmm. Ooh, I do have my weird coughing. I'll use coughing. Oh, but a special attack down with high special attack IV and it's defense up with a low defense IV. I feel like that's not going to work out great. Man, um, hmm, I've got a really good Vulpix. I'll take Vulpix. I like Vulpix. One point left. I could take my shockingly good Wormpole. Uh, what is this? Tarontula. I'm going to guess that becomes a spitter. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to take. Oh, yeah, let's take a horrible IVs Cricketune. It's a great idea. Or sorry, Cricketot. Grass for type coverage. Whoa, that is crazy IVs on Cherubi. Really weird ones on Cherubi. I'll take... You know, I've got really high IVs on Pat Rat, but it's normal type. I already have a normal type. Hmm. Runaway. 
guts. I don't really have a nature I like for this. I do have Brave on Pat Rat. You know what? Pat Rat. I'll try it. Let's catch our 5 millionth Zigzagoon! It is my highest IV Pokémon, and I got another one attack IV! Probably should have taken the Pokéballs there. Come on. Don't waste my Pokeballs early. Okay. Okay, marginally better. Oh, Rogue Balls. That was early. Rogue Balls are just a, a high catch rate Pokeball, right? It's not like a special side effect or something. Oh, I do not like getting paralyzed. Controversial opinion, I know. Really could use more Pokeballs. Send Vulpix in. We've got an X special attack. I'll Ember. Just faint it. Pokeballs. Not last... Tomo. I don't know if that's even how you say that name. Oh yeah, that's a trainer's Pokemon. I can't catch that. I'm not Team Rocket. But maybe I should be. I know there's a ROM hack where you can play as Team Rocket. I'm gonna play that on the show sometime. Probably gonna stream it. Why does Ninetales only have six tails? Or, sorry, Vulpix. I'm dumb. Don't worry about it. Why is Vulpix called Vulpix? Was that like an onomatopoeia of or something, you know? Like, it's usually like a play on words of some kind. Cherim's a shit Pokemon, though? Yeah, I mean, that's why it only costs one point to take as a starter. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not doing much damage here. Oh, I didn't think I'd faint there. Yeah, I know Ninetales has Ninetales. <sighs> I was just counting the tails on the Vulpix and my brain didn't compute for a second. Oh, stretching, so tired, such bad sleep. I'm going to bed so early tonight. Gonna just take a sleeping pill and pass out early. Cause I got, I got people coming over. Want to be up nice and early. Don't you use fake out on me, damn it. Ah, oh, damn it, ah. Uh. Kitty in this economy? Man, my team is doing so bad. Wow! Jesus, there we go. Didn't even help us. Maybe it was a nature I didn't have. Or is that my first skitty? If that was my first skitty, then I'm at least happy I got one with great IVs. I gotta buy a revive already. Luck D, because my shiny Pokemon fainted. Ugh.
Oh, Jesus, trainer fight. We're not ready for this. You think it was the first Skitty? I think you're right. Yeah, you know what? I think Skitty does have a low catch rate, and it's because um, Skitty's a rare encounter. Yeah, at least in Chen 2. Yeah, no, we're gonna get just wiped out. Unless we get lucky with Confusion. Like, really lucky. It, we missed Bind. Oh, wow, that did, like, nothing. Yeah, we're gonna lose on turn 8. This might be our earliest death. What's the next team idea? I don't know. I'll see when I get in there. You already know what I'm not picking, though, so don't bother asking. Jesus. <laughs> uh, Drowsy... I really need better IVs before I I commit too much to Drazzy. I think the low defense and speed is not doing me any favors. Wow, even my Munchlax has zero health. Do they have the same IVs? Uh, I think they do. Okay. Uh, that's a pretty good Sfeel. Why is Sfeel only two? Is it not considered a very good Pokemon? Yeah, Pokerust does help a lot. It's just my Togepi is really weird. One defense. With a defense nature. <laughs> I guess I could take it just to get Pokerus on the team. Yeah, I like Sfeel too. Okay, I'm gonna go Shuckle, Togepi. Hmm. Caravine's only, or sorry, Carnivine. I wanna say Caravine for some reason. Carnivine is only two points to take. Strength stab, stab, strength sap, uh, levitate, leafage. Ooh, I cannot stop yawning. What's wrong with me? I'll try it. It's a weird noise. And, um,. Fuck it. I'll take my coughing. It's not a very good coughing, but I like coughing. Get crushed on. X attack. What are my moves? Smog. Oh, it's so inaccurate, too. Yeah, I didn't take my shiny, but whatever. I really need more shinies. Hmm. Good special defense. X attack. Stack them. Do they stack? Or does it just refresh it? Top left makes me think they just refresh it. How refreshing. Strength Sap is like Mega Drain, but instead of damage, it lowers the opponent's attack by two stages. So it doesn't damage them then? Wow, these IVs are weird. You have really bad shiny luck considering how much you've played? Yeah, I kind of figured I do have bad shiny luck. Because a lot of people have told me that they've gotten more shinies than me, and I've just been doing shiny eggs for everything. Like, I'm not even hatching an egg now.
Ooh, great balls. Not Las Rally. I didn't even know that's a name. What does neutralizing gas even do? It says it's partially implemented. Pokemon neutralizing gas is in battle. The effect of all Pokemon's abilities will be nullified or not triggered. It says partial, so I'm guessing not all of them. Okay. Also, I noticed I can pause evolution. I think that might be new. Ah, God, I gotta stop accidentally hitting that. that sorry, that's like F11. It's right next to backspace. Wait, it had a form? What had a form? <laughs> F11 jump scare, yeah. Last Pokemon you caught. I don't know what you mean by the last Pokemon I caught has a form. You mean Poochiana? What, what do you mean, though, by it has a form? I forgot what it, it was, though. It's Poochiana. I should have caught that Meowth. How close to a level? Very close. Let's spend it on someone else. Uh, Carnivine. The Scatterbug. Okay, but what's a form? <laughs> you could use Strength Sap on your partner in a double battle if they're not a physical attacker. Oh, okay. Wouldn't it still just be better to use it on the enemy, though? Ooh, maxed out health on the Wormpole. Rival Ivy. I still need to turn that setting off. Anything with a variant is form. Okay, thank you. You can choose a Pokemon's appearance at party select. I think some forms have different effects. Check a Pikachu during the- Oh yeah, I already checked out the Pikachu thing. Okay, I understand. This is probably gonna miss. Yup, I miss. Let's try again. Smog is such garbage. Eh, did okay-ish. Free heal if both opponents aren't physical attackers, or worse, a, a topsy-turvy Malmar. Don't you growl at me. Now I gotta resort to smog again, and it missed. Now I gotta switch. Shuckle. Oh my god, crit! Oh, I was worried I'd miss. Super experience charm. Hell yeah. Potion. Heal back up. Not that it matters too much. I mean, we're almost... Oh, don't sand attack me. We're almost at the healing, uh, Poke Center. That was it. We're almost at the inn! Great ball. I'll switch away just so I get rid of the accuracy debuff. Strength sap! Yoink. Oh, 
Hold on, does his simple mean that's not gonna do anything? Oof, that doesn't even heal much. Yeah, I don't think his attack is actually going down. We can catch it though. Get them Lechonks. No upgrade on the IVs, but we got candy. Simple is two times each stat change. Oh, I, I thought... Oh, right, I'm thinking of Oblivious. Oh my god, I'm like aggressively yawning. I've only been awake... Like, five hours? And I slept seven and a half hours, I want to point out. It's just, again, my sleep schedule's been atrocious. It'll be fixed soon, though. I always have an easier time fixing my sleep when I'm syncing it up with someone else. Oh god, is this song again? Dude, I might just put on my own music. Mmm, catch it. Is there like a hotkey to mute the song? <laughs> Probably not. I'll take the, spe the special attack up. Hmm, <gasps> what's this? Step right up, folks. Try your luck on the brand new Wobbuffet Wackomatic. What is this? It doesn't cost too much. Oh my god, I'm getting like hiccups now too. My whole body's rebelling. Catch a traveling show with prize game. You have three turns to bring Wobbuffet close to one health without KOing it. Huh. If you KO it, you'll have to pay for the cost. What does it say? For the cost of reviving it. I'm gonna try it. That sounds fun. Oh, I pick who I use. I have three turns. Who could bring it to low health without killing it in three turns? Probably Carnivine. Bite. I'll just bite one more time, it won't faint, then I'll strength sap. <laughs> nice! Yeah, I, I'm imagining that false swipe would be really badass here. Oh, did you see that? The stats down was on an invisible Wobbuffet that was next to this one. Counter swing and smacks the button, nearly hitting the bell. Nearly? Second tier prize. Man, I got it so good. Scope lens. Lens for scoping at weak points. It boosts the crit the holder's crit ratio. Eh, that's not bad. Um, coughing. That's, that was pretty good. That went well. Went about as well as it could without having something like false swipe. Might need exactly one HP left, maybe. I wonder what the first prize is. Maybe it's just an automatic super rare item. <laughs> uh. Man, maybe I'm getting sick. Maybe I'm sick, but like in the 90s way. Maybe I'm ill. Maybe I'm fat with a pH. Ah, oh, don't crit at the end. I was going to catch that. Ugh. Second tier is rogue tier, so probably something master ball tier. Yeah, probably. Can I get an egg voucher? Oh! -ho! I mean, I'm not going to complain about an experienced charm in early game. Oh, is it is it just being held by coughing? Oh, no, never mind. The coughing symbol on the top left is my item. Never mind. Can I get a, a 
level up. Can I get uh, everything ever, please? <laughs> MDB is dying of being too cool, but ODing on coolness. Hmm. I mean, exit accuracy is not all that interesting unless I'm using, you know, like Blizzard or something. I wouldn't mind catching more Meowth. Don't use Fake Out, you bastard. What if MDB was down with the sickness? What if I am down with the sickness? Oh, maxed out special defense. Damn, we, you know what? We probably have a pretty good Meowth now if we wanted to ever start with a Meowth. Clear Smog is better than Smog, right? Yes, it is. All stats change our return to normal, which is probably not all that useful, but like as an attacking move, I like it more than regular ass shitty never hit Smog. Rare candy. Struggle bug. I don't think it's any good with it. I mean, it's it's better than nothing. It's better than rap. It would have payday. That's true. Payday is pretty useful. Get an extra little chip bits of money here and there. Iggly buff and Cleffa. Mighty Cleffa. All right, I forgot I have a Tokopi. I feel like that's really appropriate here. Oops, I didn't mean to hit run. Fight. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, is Smog one of those moves that hit both Pokemon in a double battle? But would it have paid a two? Yes, but it wouldn't have paid a three. Life do. Do the do. Restores HP of itself and its ally. Oh. That's pretty good. That was easy. Uh, map? I, I've been liking the map. Getting to choose where I go is kind of nice. Not that you get to choose every time, but you know. Being able to choose occasionally is nice. Ah, oh, don't crit me. We're getting kind of close to a Poke Center. Crazy effort values on that. Every 20 you get to choose, right? I think? I don't know if it's every 20, but... I know it's not every 10, because there's only some... Special tack up. Sure. Okay, I gotta switch. Coughing's just too hurt. Shuckle. Uh, Togepi, what are your moves again? Scorching Sands is kind of strong. Hmm. I'll leave it in. All right, life do has got to be very good for these double battles. Took me as the healer now. Yeah. You should use Scorching Sands on Spearow. I agree. That sounds like a great idea. Okay, Body Press is just neutral on uh, Spearow. We'll see if it's a one-shot. But if it's not a one-shot, I'm catching it. Ooh, hurt itself. 
Yeah, I think it's gonna go down no matter what then. Ooh, it's not a very strong heal. Okay. Hmm, X defend, because we have a boss fight coming up. I'll stay in. I'm catching that for sure. Is the healing split because of a double battle? I imagine. I imagine in a regular one on one, it would probably heal 50% of my max health, like most healing moves in Pokemon do. God, why is everyone so close to a level up? Oh, I guess I'll use it on Shuckle. Six defense from that. That is insane. I don't give a shuck. Metropolis Lake Grassy Field. I've been liking Metropolis because it leads to the slums. And that's poison types. Metropolis. It's only one quarter even in singles battles? Shit, that's not great. That's really not great. <laughs> I didn't want to body press my own ally. Oh, don't headbutt. Oh, don't sand attack. Oh, I flinched. I don't want rock throw. It's not like it's gonna do anything, I'm shuckle. Charm? No. Aha, I burned it. Not that I needed to, it was fainting anyway. The good part is that an area of effect healing instead of a single objective. Yeah. It's not very strong, though. Like, if the opponent is already doing less than a quarter of your health and damage so you could out heal it with life do, then the opponent's not really dangerous in the first place. Um... Vine Whip is just slightly stronger leafage. I'm gonna take it, I guess. Also, is it bad that when I saw you type AoE for, like, Area of Effect, I immediately thought Age of Empires? Uh, who's got, like, an inaccurate attack? No one really has one right now. I I'll put it on Coughing for now, and I'll move it to someone else who needs it more later. Man, Age of Empires 3 Remake is so cool. I gotta play that again. It's been a while. Over a year. Maybe two years. What's this? A lady with tons of shopping bags. I should rob her. You here for the amazing sales? There's a special coupon you can redeem for free items during the sale. I have an extra one. Here you go. Oh, that's nice. Um... Hmm. Four counters. The possibilities are endless. Well, endless. There's four, but okay. Um. TM shop, vitamin shop, pokeball shop, X item shop. I'll go TM shop. Hmm. Power whip is good. Return is good. Psybeam. I don't really have a good candidate for Psybeam. Power Whip? Yeah, Power Whip is awesome. Yeah! I'll take that. Uh, go away, Growth. Ever wish you could play a good version of 2K24, but on PS2? No? <laughs> 
I think 2K24 is okay, but I'm guessing what you're talking about is the mod of of um, SVR07 that has like modern roster. Because I saw that on Twitter the other day. Oh, you're right. I could give the accuracy up to Carvine now. It's probably a better use than anything else I could do. Mega Bracelet. For when you want to look cool in front of your friends. Is that mod free? Because a lot of wrestling game mods, you have to pay for their Patreon to get them. Like, someone was telling me today in the comment section, like, when you play... No Mercy, you have to play No Mercy plus three. It has Midian and unique animations. And I'm sure it's all cool and good. It probably is really good. But like, I, it, I, I looked like, where, where do I download it, bro? Gotta pay for the Patreon. Uh, like, I get it. I get it. Support the developer of the mod. That's cool. I'm happy they're making their money, but you're paywalling the mod. That's really annoying. Mods for so, so, so long were just free. Uh, right, I- can I not switch items on my team right now? Nah, probably not, okay. What the fuck? That thing is a freak. Hey, mods are BS at that point, make a full game out of it? Well, I don't think that's a good argument. Like, people are, people want to play No Mercy mods specifically because they want to play a modded version of No Mercy. If you're saying make a whole game out of it, then it's not going to be No Mercy anymore, and it kind of defeats the point of modding No Mercy. Safeguard? I'm good. Um, I'll take Assurance, because I don't have Dark Move yet. Only downside is you have to go to the Mod Creator's Discord to get it. I mean, if it's free, then I don't mind. Okay, that didn't hurt too bad, although it might crit me soon. Well... Oh, I was going to say special attack down will help, but no, Razor Leaf is physical. Nice! Only 5% chance of that missing. Ancient Power! Um, I'll take that over Pound, I guess. Yeah, my shuckle's ridiculous. Y'all see about Pete Rose? Pete Rose? Why do I know the name Pete Rose? What do I know that from? Uh... Oh, no, I was thinking Buddy Rose. No, I don't know Pete Rose. Maybe I've heard the name on, like, Twitter or something, but I don't know Pete Rose. I'm gonna assume Pete Rose died, whoever Pete Rose is. He got tombstoned by Cain. Oh. Well, that's not the same thing as dying. No, 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 no. Oh, he passed? Oh. From the tombstone from Cain? That's tragic. I'm gonna assume you mean he died of like age or disease or something. Big Nugget. Man, it's a shame that Kane give Pete Rose that shoot tombstone. Man, it should be illegal for them to crit me. Uh, he's an MLB and WWE Hall of Famer. Oh. Yeah, I don't know Pete Rose. MLB is is baseball, right? American baseball? My friend Calippi's really into baseball. 
she's going to take me to a baseball game sometime because I think she said that she's never seen the Toronto Blue Jays at their home stadium. I almost said the Toronto Raptors. <laughs> That's a basketball team. I don't know basketball either. I know the Harlem Globetrotters. And the Washington... G Generals? You know, because the Harlem Glo Globetrotters are like the pro wrestlers of basketball. You know, they do like a worked theater show or whatever. They're awesome. I'm not really into sports. I like when it's a work. Indeedy. Hmm, I'm gonna kill that one for having a bad name. Ah! Right, it's psychic type. Why did I stay in? I guess I'm the small brain here. Saw my Cardinals uh, play against the Pirates of the MLB IRL. I mean, that was barely English to me. Oops, uh, no, Scorching Sands that one, bite this one. Ow. Things are getting difficult. So an MLB game in person say, can say it's uh, worth going to see in person. I mean, I mostly just want to do it so I can hang out with my friend. Because that'd be fun. I have zero interest in baseball. I'm just not a sports guy. Oh, those IVs are really weird. Unless it's wrestling. I don't know how many times I need to point that out that wrestling is not a sport. <laughs> I've had so many people say either than wrestling, what's your favorite sport? Or like, you know, uh, do you like any sports either than wrestling? And every single time I point out, wrestling is not a sport. It's, it's theater. It's live action theater. It's, it's Cirque du Soleil. You can call it a million things, but sports are competitive. Professional wrestling is not competitive. It's not a competition. There aren't opponents. Yeah, collegiate and Olympic wrestling, but that's not what I'm interested in. I don't like collegiate and, and uh, yeah, Greco Roman. I don't like the actual sport of wrestling. I like professional wrestling. Professional wrestling is theater. Professional wrestling is NWA and TNA and WCW and WWF and, and MLW and DPW and CZW. Yeah, did you like Engel's work in pro wrestling? Yeah, because you can implement professional wrestling with other combat sports, like Greco-Roman and whatever. Not unlike how I also like when wrestlers bring in their martial arts backgrounds, you know? Actual wrestling is a martial art. Lucha Underground is basically a soap opera, and it's awesome. So wrestling is all three letter acronyms? Yeah. Do I really want ingrain? Probably not, no. Yeah, stop learning ingrain. Yeah, I am really low on power points, you're right. Yeah, don't learn hyper fang. Crazy song. Oh. Well, that, that kind of interrupted the song. Uwu could be a real wrestling company? Oh, probably is. 
There's a million small indie companies out there. Let's learn Snarl. It's not physical, but... Nah, I don't need it. Go on cage match. See if there's a wrestling company called Uwu. I wouldn't be surprised if there was. It, it truly would not shock me. Norman. If that is your real name. Ultimate Wrestling Underground? I believe it. You could be telling a joke for all I know, but I also kind of believe it. Snapped out of confusion, thank god. Who a crit on that one. There we go. Is that his whole team? Uh, I'll take Yawn over Defense Curl, I guess. Yay! Egg Voucher Plus! I looked at, uh... I looked at the, what I can only assume to be an E-Fed. Oh, okay, it's an E-Fed. Yay, slums! Slumming it. Forgot I had this ticket before. Oh, you made one up. I mean, it sounds like an actual promotion. Or at least an E-Fed. It sounds more like an E-Fed. DPW is my favorite E-Fed. <laughs> Man, have you ever seen that sweet-ass clip on Twitter from DPW? It was, um... It was from, um... What was it? Sean Spears versus Chris Danger, which was Chris Danger's first, like, pro wrestling match in front of a crowd. Um, it's when he goes for a taste of danger, and I, I watched that move live, or, like, not live live, like, I wasn't there in person. I mean, I watched the broadcast when it went up live, um, and someone on Twitter, when the camera cuts during the move, they cut to um, him doing it in the game, like between him doing it in the game and him doing it in real life in the same arena, in the same gear with the same wrestlers. And it's so fucking cool. It's flinch. Flinch. Triple flinch. Guys, what's the chance of a flinch? Is it 10%? I want to say it's 10. Was it like changed to like 100 in one of the games? What the hell just happened? 30? 30%? 30 Damn, that's high. They must have changed that. It was not 30 in the early games. At least I don't think. Damn, so I just rolled a 33 times? I mean, it's not the rarest thing I've ever seen, but it's not, <laughs> it's not common, that's for sure. I love Grass Power Bomb. They did raise it to make it a viable strat? Okay. 2.7 chance of 330s. Okay, so it's still not like finding a shiny. Or like the 256 glitch. And I do have the 256 glitch happen like multiple times every Gen 1 run, so I guess it's not that rare. Sorry, Clear Smoke, I have Sludge now. Was the 256 glitch? So the 256 glitch is this glitch that happens in Gen 1. I was going to say all the time, but I, I guess it happens one in every 256 attacks. Basically, they programmed accuracy wrong in Gen 1. 
and there is a 1 in 256 chance that any move in Gen 1 will miss, whether it's your move or the enemy's move. It happens every Gen 1 run, usually multiple times. Um, it's not always noticeable when it happens, because sometimes it'll activate on a move that doesn't have 100% accuracy anyway. But, like, you can have that happen on a 100 accuracy move. You can have swift miss in that game. Oh, what am I doing? Fighting doesn't work against poison. I forgot. Yeah, so you can have swift miss in Gen 1 because of that glitch. It's really absurd. Did you know it's possible to catch a shiny in Gen 1 but not know? Yes. You can catch a Pokemon that would be a shiny if you then transferred it to Gen 2. But there's no way of knowing in Gen 1. Oh, wow, that really improved the IVs. Damn, right. Next time I start with a coughing, it'll be a lot better. Although my coughing's been doing okay so far. It's not like it's my ace or anything, but it's doing fine. Egg voucher. Okay, we have a major fight next level, I think. That's why Pokemon Showdown has a 99.87 accuracy on every move. Yeah to make it authentic to the 256 glitch. I remember Pokemon Showdown used to have an issue with um, Gen 1 accuracy, like not accuracy, like uh, being authentic because they didn't realize that Body Slam can't paralyze normal types in Gen 1. But I knew that because I do a lot of Gen 1 runs. Yeah, um, because they wanted to program it so that you couldn't a Pokemon couldn't get poisoned by a move of, or um, couldn't get a status affliction from a move of their own type. So, you know, a poison Pokemon can't get poisoned by a poison move. That makes sense. Um, they wanted it so an electric Pokemon couldn't get po couldn't get uh, paralyzed by an electric move. Okay, fine. A side effect of that was that Body Slam, which is a normal move that paralyzes, could not paralyze normal types. But the people who made Showdown didn't realize that for a really, really long time. It totally changed the meta of uh, how the game worked. Because once they did that, uh, there were Pokemon that were viable before that weren't viable anymore. I think it was like Golem got completely replaced with Rhydon or something, because there was no longer a reason to use it. So bugs can't get poisoned by Twin Needle, yes. But poison, pure poison types could get poisoned by Twin Needle. In fact, in Gen 2, um, do I want Yon? No. In Gen 2, you could poison a steel Pokemon with Twin Needle. I think they changed that in some of the later games. It's a crazy small detail to notice, it is, I mean, what freaks are like me playing so much Gen 1 with Body Slam that they realize that they can't poison or they can't paralyze a normal type? I suspected I just had horrible luck, but anytime horrible luck happens in Gen 1, I also suspect that there's just some kind of glitch going in the background that I don't know about. Because there's a lot of weird, obscure glitches in Gen 1. So I just assume there's something I don't know. And in fairness, that's usually what it is. Ow. Well, I'm not switching, so I'm going to faint. Oh! Oh, it missed me. So I didn't faint. Okay. Anyone heard of the beat-up problem in Gen 3? I don't think I know that one. Run it by me. Lay it on me. Beat-up is not a problem in Gen 3. It's a feature. Ooh, Grass Knot. I like that move. Get rid of Vine Whip. Ooh, I always forget this Pokemon exists. I kind of like it, though. Cool design, cool type combo. Oh, what am I doing? Right, I'm a rock type. Um, body press, though. Oh, wow, that hurt more than I thought it would. I gotta say, body press with a high defense shuckle is just overpowered. Not that I'm complaining. Oh, I want Grimer. 
Just don't make it faint. You bastard. How did you hit poison gas? That move is the shits. Okay, good. Uh, no, in Showdown, if you use Beat Up, it would show your Pokemon. Oh, okay. Uh, so, w what's the thing with Gen 3 and Beat Up? Uh, not the best IVs. But I have a Grimer now. Oh, Experience Charm, you can't pass that up. Explaining Beat Up in Gen 3. It uses the base attack of each Pokemon alive on the party for each hit uh, damage calculation. It also uses base defense, not the defense, South IVs, EVs, nature. So what, like, what's the consequence of that? Because I don't, I'm not even super familiar with how Beat Up works in general. I think I'd actually rather have Struggle Bug than Bug Bite, just so I can lower people's special attack. So many level ups. We're doing pretty well this run. Beat up is like Fury Swipes, but X is how many Pokemon on your party are alive. So you could like do six if you had all six Pokemon alive. I assume it does a lot less damage because of base stat, not improved by EVs or etc. Hmm. Beat up is able to KO at opponents such as Chansey and Blissey, even if your whole team is made up of special attackers, just in Gen 3, though. Really? That's weird. Oh, it's getting windy. See, I can feel like a huge breeze coming in through my window. It's getting cold, too. Let me just check the weather real quick on my phone here. Is it gonna get like dangerously gusty? Should I be closing some windows? Oh no, no. Although it's supposed to start raining soon. Oh, it's gonna rain really hard tonight. Okay, well, if it's gonna rain really hard, I'm gonna close this window. Cause you know, I'm in my studio. And believe it or not, I don't want rain flying in the window. Oh, it is pouring rain right now. I can hear it with my headset off. Okay, the window's closed. Oh, it's a shame the breeze was kind of nice. One of the news alerts on your PC phrased uh, one of the electoral debates as a spar. Honestly, I'd prefer to watch them duke it out WWE style. I mean, Trump did have, uh, he was in a match. He wasn't really in the match. He was, um, I guess you would say he was managing, although he got a little physical in it. He was managing Bobby Lashley against Umaga back in 2007, I want to say, maybe 2008. Sorry, who am I against again? Grimer? Okay. Ooh, crit. Oh, don't mud shot. Oh, that sucks. Woo! That helped my stats. 2007? Yeah, that's right. I remember back in the day when Donald Trump was doing, like, the news media to promote the, the match at, I think it was at WrestleMania. Um, he forgot Bobby Lashley's name and called him Bobby Lindsay. Even though that's the guy he's managing. Oh my god. Roughneck Martin. I like his, um, I like his jacket. With the big, uh, sand dial, or sorry, crocodile patch on the back. That's awesome. 
Yeah, WrestleMania's always had celebrity appearances since the first one, and uh, Trump was the one that year. Yeah, I gotta switch. Ooh, next level we get to heal. Next level, I mean, like, next stage. I, I don't know what you want to call it in this game, actually. Big street sharks on the jacket? Yeah. Coughing wants self-destruct? I don't really feel like I should be using self-destruct in this that often. Maybe if it was explosion, I would take it just because it's so strong. I'll take crunch. Man, I never use Bibaron. <laughs> I probably should. It's not a bad Pokemon. Sableye! It's a physical attacker, right? Well, it's physically attacking now. Ooh, bulk up. I don't like that. I'll build a rollout. Wow, he's really spamming that. Oh, I missed. This is not good, because he can start sweeping the team. He's up to plus five on defense and attack. It's really just up to roll out at this point. Oh, that was a good crit and a good miss. Nice! He probably should have wasted less time. A slightly suspicious Kiwi. Only slightly, though. Uh, X speed, sure. Boss fight? Well, I've already built up a rollout. Whoa, it raised three stats. That's crazy. Sableye's one of your favorites. Sableye's a great Pokemon. Well, that did, like, nothing. Catch it. Fuck. Rest. Oh. Well, I heal after this anyway. Um, strength sap. I want to make this thing weaker. Is it one stage of attack it loses? Yeah, okay. You figured out what the horrible outcome of the chest event is. What is it? What happened? There we go. We finally finished the slums. Um... I'm a physical attacker. I don't need Leaf Tornado. Skip to egg summary? Sh sure? No? No. I'm gonna watch it. A Gimme Ghoul jumped out, KO'd one of my Pokemon, and then I had to fight it. Ooh, that sucks. Houndour! I like Houndour. I think that's my first? No, it is not. Okay. Got an egg move. That's worth it. It's a, a bug. Dewpiter. Must be a water bug. I kind of like how it looks. Hoot hoot. Hoot hoot's kind of crap. Oh, it's, um, it's, a uh, uh, Chingling. What, what, what did I name it in that one run? Um, wow, the IVs on it are insane. What did I name on that one run? Uh, Chingling was named, um, Josephus. That was it. Rip Josephus. I miss him. He was awesome. Construction site or swamp? Um, swamp is gonna be, what, poison and water? 
I do like poison and water Pokemon, but I feel like I would have a better chance of surviving the construction site. Ah, fuck it, Swamp. Ooh, I like Lombre. What song is this? Pokemon Mystery Dungeon EOS Surrounded Sea. Construction's fighting types? Yeah. So I notice it's raining here, so I gotta look out for water moves. Explorers of Sky. That's the one everyone says is their favorite. Nice. Oh, pretty good IVs. Apparently leftovers can stack? What? Oh right, because you can have, you can hold multiple items in this game. That's insane. Leftovers must be a really rare item though. Quagsire! I like Quagsire. I might accidentally one-shot it, though. I'm gonna try Bite. Sure, use Mist, like I care. You can also stack Shell Bells? Okay. Nice. Bad IVs, but we didn't have one yet. Sludge Bomb. Good move. I'll get rid of Tackle. I only have 10 power points on, on Sludge Bomb, so I want to also have Sludge as a backup. Mm, big Nugget. Give me that money. We got a lot of money. I was kind of hoping it would be so light that that wouldn't kill it. But whatever. Doesn't matter. Oh! Which Yoshi are we getting this time? Slugma! How great special attack. We have a few Slugmas. Dire hit. Oh, Ludicolo! I want it. Ludicolo's an awesome Pokemon. Really reliable. Okay, I want to heal a little off this dude, because he's barely hurting me anyway. Whew, that healed a lot! Hot damn! Come on, keep trying. Oh my god. Alright. I see how it's gonna be. Stop hitting me with this shit. Yeah, don't make me heal off you more. Where you put the Poke of Doom on the deadliest finishers? I mean, it won the match. Oh, fucking finally. Very high special attack and a special attack nature. I like that. Stockpile? No. I hate Pokemon that learn Stockpile and Swallow and... and all that bullshit, because then, one, if you want to do that gimmick, then it uses up pretty much your whole move set. And two, it takes you forever to say no to learning all of them. Uh, team's still healthy. I gotta say, Carnivine has been doing very well. Um... I don't know who I want to use. Opinion of Mrs. Turn. 
Uh, I don't know. I don't watch WWE outside of, like, some of the big pay-per-views. Um, I saw that he turned on our truth That's it. I don't know the story. I know they used to tag back during the awesome truth days. I watched back then. Look, when WWE got rid of the WWE Network, it became pretty much impossible for me to follow. I watch a fuckload of wrestling, I just don't watch WWE outside of, like, Royal Rumble and WrestleMania. Do not learn. Do not learn. Man, Tokubi's gotta evolve soon, right? Don't learn takedown, it sucks. Takedown is just double-edged, double but bad. Ooh! I like it. Carnivine was your first ever shiny? Ooh. That's pretty cool shiny. Sorry for another moving question. When you move, will you start watching WWE more? Probably not. Oh. I only have so much time, you know? And I'm already invested in my other wrestling shows. I do like all the changes that they've made in WWE since Triple H took over. It got rid of a lot of things that I complained about for two decades of watching WWE. I'll give them that. Um, but... It's not like I'm just gonna get straight back into it overnight. Like, I love pro wrestling, not just WWE, you know? Uh, I'll get rid of Ancient Power for a double uh, edge. Yay! Yeah, coughing takes a long time to evolve. It's because in Gen 1, you don't catch it until they're like level 30. Why did mine just become Galarin? Huh. Do I want double hit? I don't think I do. I don't like that the smog on it is green, but either than that, I love the design. If the smog was still white, I would think it would look better. I don't think I want double hit. Let me be the one billionth person to uh, thank you for inspiring me to play Wrestling Empire. Best 20 bucks I've ever spent. Thank you, thank you. Everyone who buys it based on the show tells me that they just adore it. Whether they watch wrestling or not. I've had a lot of people say that they've never watched a wrestling show in their life, but they bought Wrestling Empire after seeing it on the show, and it's like their favorite Switch game. Or Steam game. Or I think it's on a lot of things now. What's this? A teacher and some school children that she stole. Would you be able to spare a minute for my students? I'm teaching them about Pokemon moves. Would love to show them a demonstration. Sure, I will use explosion on them. Uh, I would like a physical item reward, a special item reward, or a status item reward. Ah, uh, it's nighttime in game, so it becomes Galarin. Okay, interesting. I will do a, a, a physical. Carnivine. Select. A move. Power whip. Awesome display. Thank you for your kindness. Uh, I, that leveled up some Pokemon. Okay. Rarer candy. Hell yeah. A free level up on the whole team. That's awesome! You've never watched a wrestling match, but you've had somewhere around 3,800 matches in Wrestling Empire. That's awesome. Wrestling Empire is that fucking good. It's cheap! It's really cheap, and it's easy to learn! It was originally on phones! I mean, the earlier games in the series were originally phone games. Get it on your Switch. Get it on your Steam. It's fun. I'm pretty sure it's on other things now, too. Uh, smokescreen can go away. I want Toxic. It's 
a good last resort move for if I have nothing else that can take something out, then I'll throw Toxic on it and try and waste time. Ooh, Reviver Seed. I can't pass that up. Poison Bug. Yeah, that's right, in modern games, Toxic never misses if you're using it with a poison type. That's not how it was in the old ones. Oh, crit. Don't you knock off? Bastard. You lost your tag team belt to Jason Voorhees and his famous partner, Marvel's Venom. Yeah. If you got the game on um, Steam, then you can also use the workshop to download other people's, like, creator wrestlers and stuff. Ooh. Paul Iraf. I'm gonna toxic him early, just in case this is bad. I like that it specifies that he is toxic and not just poison. I'm gonna... Oh, it doesn't matter if I switch now, does... Oh, cured of his poison. We'll poison him again. I was gonna say, it doesn't matter if I switch, really. It's not that big of a deal, because it's not like we're gonna level up anyway. We're maxed level. And we're going to the Poke Center after this, so who cares? Carnivine. Ow. Wasted my reviver seed, you asshole. God damn it. Why does he hit when he has dynamic punch and I never do? Special defense rose. That's not a big deal. Ah, snapped out. How's it feel to be lame, Polyrath? Do you play Pokemon Go? No. No, I don't. I don't even have a data plan on my phone. <laughs> uh, I probably should put that on the team, shouldn't I? Ah, whatever. I'm so bad about not putting things on my team after I've, like, got my initial team. Golden Pokeball. That's like an item in the top left. How does that work? Graveyard? Yeah, I haven't been there yet. It's a ghostly teapot. <laughs> Are you going to Pokemon Go to the polls to illegally vote in the US election? Yeah, totally. I like that that stupid Pokemon go to the polls thing is such an enduring meme that people still reference that now. That's insane. Would you rather play Pokemon Yellow and have to beat it without glitches and trading? <sighs> or beat Pokemon Red using Charmander as your starter and you can't change? That's like the weirdest question ever. Like, I don't know. I wouldn't not want to do either. I, I do Pokemon Yellow Runs without trading or glitches all the time. And Pokemon Red with Char Charmander as my starter. That's, I don't know, that's fine. What's wrong with Charmander? Yeah, yeah, it's just a red or yellow question, really. Uh, I don't know, they're both good in their own ways. Uh, I forget, do I have any eggs? We'll hatch soon. We have two that'll hatch soon, apparently. I mean, yeah, it's pretty hard to beat any Gen 1 without glitches if you're counting unintentional glitches, because, like, you can't... You know, like, the badge boost? That's gonna happen to you every single run. You can't prevent that. The enemies do that glitch to you. They'll hatch in the next ten rooms, then? Oh, okay. I didn't know that's exactly how that works. That's cool, though. You love, uh, pole, 
poltergeist. Is that what it's called? Let me look up there. Yeah. Oh, poltergeist. Geist. Poltergeist. God, I can't read. Favorite Pokemon of all time. I mean, it looks a little janky here. It probably looks better in whatever game it's actually from. All right, I'm going to save and quit out to the main menu because it is getting late. I need to get to bed very early tonight and I still need time to do some other stuff tonight. I, I, I need to do other work still. Nothing beats a jelly filled donut. I know that reference. Uh, if you're watching this live, stay stay here for a moment. I'll I'll see if any of my friends are uh, are streaming. We can raid them. Sinis uh, cha is that like chai, like chai tea? I mean, chai means tea in many countries. Anyway, if you're watching this on YouTube, check the playlists. You never know what stuff I'm uploading that isn't public yet. How about Harvest Moon: A Wonderful Life? Do you love that game? Me too, it's in the playlists. How about Project Zomboid? That's in the playlists too. There are so many things. So many things in the playlist that you don't even know. Cha equals T in many countries. Yes, that is that thing I said. <laughs> I'm gonna assume that you weren't up to date yet. Um, anyway, uh, stay tuned and I'll raid someone. For those of you on YouTube though, have a nice day.